Hey everybody, this is Michael Gaminol with Gaminol Tutors. I'm covering a question of the day today. This is a great question. This is one where a lot of people struggled. Um, and it's because people are used to seeing uh, foil. That's like your knee jerk reaction is to go straight into foil. But what you wanna do here is actually kind of the reverse. Um, so the question is four Y times three X plus two minus two times three X plus two. So people like to distribute, they wanna distribute. Uh, I was showing my girlfriend this question. The first thing she did is she said four Y times three X, that becomes 12 X Y. Well, if you start doing that, you can look at the answers and be like, whoa, none of those are gonna work. There is no 12 X Y. In fact, there's no X and Y. So you don't want to combine X and Y. You don't wanna multiply this in. What you actually want to do is multiply it out. You're looking for, to simplify this question, all right? So the way you do that is you look at both terms and you figure out what's the same in each of them. You'll notice here 3x minus 2 right there and 3x minus 2 right there. So what you do is you actually pull these guys out and you put them together. And so you have 3x plus 2 and then all you have left over 4y minus 2 and you pull times that by three X plus two. So you can see that that answer is clearly A. A has to be your answer because that has the four Y minus two and the three X plus two, you pull that out of each term. So if I wanted to go through and distribute, what I would do is I would plug this back in to here and I would get four Y times three X plus two, four Y times three X plus two, minus, minus two, two times three X plus two times three X plus two. That is how clear it is. You can clearly see that this is the same as this. Down here it's close, but the minus is in the wrong side. This isn't a minus, so you can't do three X minus two. Over here, six X, that's just made up. That's just totally to distract you. You can cut that guy out. And this one, let's see, four Y plus two and three X plus two. This one's close, but the issue here is there's no minus sign. So you know there has to be a minus sign in the answer because there was a minus sign in the question. So because of that, you can throw this guy out. Now you're down to two guesses. So if you're here, if you got this far, you got a 50-50 chance, which is even better. But if you go through and you know it straight away, this is gonna boost your confidence for the coming questions. And that's what we do in my pro group is we make sure that you can get the easy questions so that when you come across a hard one, you don't freeze. All right, guys. Well, I hope everybody has a very happy 4th of July. And uh, this has been the question of the day. If you feel like you got something out of it, go ahead and smash like, smash subscribe. If you want to get into my pro group, send me a message. Let me know. We're launching this weekend. I'm really excited.